so today I'm going to be talking about some weird stuff that's been going around in the industry lately, and I'm going to hopefully be clearing it up for y'all. So, I'm talking about fentanyl lace carts. So I'm sure all of y'all have seen those articles going around about kid dies of suspected fentanyl lace cart, or suspected fentanyl laced weed, or whatever the hell else. And like, dude, I've even seen kids making TikToks about it. Like, I just got a fentanyl lace cart and this is making me feel so weird. But th it's like... Dude, if you just got a fentanyl lace cart, it wouldn't be making you feel weird, you know? You wouldn't be posting that shit from your room, you'd be posting that from the hospital. And so, like, there's a bunch of shady shit going around with this, so I'm just hopefully trying to clear it up. So, one of the biggest things is that nobody's really lacing your drugs with more expensive drugs. Fentanyl is more expensive than distillate. You know what I mean? You can get, dude, you can get liters out of California now for, like, as low as 2200 a liter for Cat 3 distillate. And then, like, if you want really shitty distillate, you can get it for, like, 1500 a liter or something. Like, that's really, really low. But, like, it's just kind of illustrating the fact that, like, $2 carts, like, nobody's trying to add fentanyl to $2 worth of distillate to fuck with you. Like, if they want to be cheap, then they can just buy fucking shitty distillate. See, like, the amount of times that this has been posted in the news and the amount of times that people have just posted about this on TikTok and everything, it's so disproportional to the amount of times that it might have actually happened. Like, out of the hundreds of times somebody posted it, there might be one case. And I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give it a little bit of credit by saying this. There might be one case that has to do with cross-contamination. And that would be like if you were getting carts from some dude who was breaking down fentanyl in the same place that he was filling his carts and the dude forgot to wash his hands or something. But the thing is, it's like, it's pretty easy to tell like if your cart looks like it's coming from the kind of place that would be also breaking down bricks of fentanyl. You know what I mean? Like that's like, dude, if you're getting that kind of cart, that has to be like a 2019 fake cart, like an exotic or a dank vape or something like that. And like at that point, it like fentanyl or not, you shouldn't be getting that cart anyway. I bet like 85% of these cases, what will happen is a kid will get like a fake perk or a fake Xan or something like that. And he'll take it and it has fentanyl in it and he'll overdose. And when he's in the hospital, like the police or his parents or something will be questioning him. And he won't want to tell them that he's been doing these drugs, right? So he's just like, I, I guess it was just the weed, y'all. Like, he just blames it on the weed to them, and then all of a sudden you have a whole slew of news stories coming out of this. It was just originated with a kid being scared to tell his parents that he was doing hard drugs. It's like, this is kind of the same thing with, like, the Halloween candy scare that, like, all the parents were reposting on Facebook and shit. You remember all the articles about be careful because people will be giving your kids edibles for Halloween? It's like, dude, do you really think that people are giving out free edibles? Like, much less to your kids, but in general, do you think people are giving out free edibles? Like, that never happens. They're either eating them shits or selling them shits. Like, this kind of just comes down to the point that nobody is trying to lace your already cheap drugs with more expensive drugs. But yeah, this was just a short little video, kind of similar to the two gram carts video or the polka video, just talking about some stuff that like, just kind of weird going on. Just like a bunch of weird news, fear mongering shit that doesn't need to be there and that's taking away eyes from some real problems in the industry. But thank you very much for watching all that. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, anything. But peace out. Thank you. Beast. Dude, this fucking cart, like, the minute I hit it, like, my mouth just starts watering. Like, I don't know if the, t the fucking... See, dude, I just fucking spit, bro. I don't know if it's the type of turps or I don't know what the fuck it is, but, like... Bro, I'm getting the opposite of fucking cotton mouth. I don't know if y'all have ever gotten that, but, like, this is kind of fucked up right now.